Hey, what's going on guys? Um, right now I'm going to be showing you a fabulous deck of cards uh, that I just received. It's the Fulton uh, Clip Joint Playing Cards made by Dan and Dave. Um, this is a fabulous deck of cards. I'm going to go through the box, I'm going to go through the playing cards, and at the end I'm going to say, do I think you should buy it um, uh, compared to bicycle cards and whatnot, uh, and I'll go all through all that, those things. Uh, so without further ado, let's get right into um, this review and let's start with the box. So on the outside of the box it's very clean and uh, Dan and Dave did a great job and through all their cards you know they always do a great job with the box and they definitely capitalized on that uh, in this deck of cards. Uh, so right here we have Fulton's uh, clip joint playing cards and uh, the nice cursive uh, Fulton's and then they got a nice kind of smoky uh, action going on kind of like a ribbon uh, going all the way down to the border and that actually continues uh, on the edge alright uh, on the side of the box here we have Fulton's clip joint Los Angeles California um, on the bottom we have Cambric 37 and that's actually the finish on the cards alright um, and then distributed by D&D &D playing card company or Dan and Dave playing card company uh, and the back of the box is the same exact as the front, uh, which I kind of like. I like that feature. Um, you know, they could have added the back, but they decided to do this, which I think was a nice touch. All right. Uh, when you pull open the flap here, uh, you're going to notice a very nicely designed flap. Okay, it's very kind of, it has the swirl action going on, uh, kind of like spears almost. And on the flaps here, you actually see an F for phones. If it can focus, maybe you'll see it. Uh, and those are very nice as well. So overall, they really did a great job with the box. Um, and on top, I forgot to mention, it also says Fulton's. All right. And that's about it. Uh, now we're going to go into the playing cards. So without further ado, let's get right into that. All right. So let's say you just opened your box uh, of playing cards. Let's see what you going to get. You're going to get a standard ad card. Uh, there's ads on both sides just kind of telling you about the deck and whatnot. Uh, most of you are probably going to throw that away uh, unless you're like me and I for some reason keep all of those. Uh, you're going to get the two jokers on top of the pack uh, and then we'll talk about the ace of spades as well. Uh, so let's let's continue. Let's take a peek at these jokers. These are very interesting and Dan and Dave incorporated an animal and that is a Siamese cat you'll see that right here uh, the face and whatnot and I really like um, they incorporated a lot of swirls that's going to go along with the back design uh, and pretty much everything else in the deck of cards which I think was great uh, it's just a mirrored image on this Joker alright uh, and it's pretty simple um, and you're gonna get two of those alright exactly the same all right, so not the greatest jokers that I've ever seen, uh, but obviously they're not lacking. Personally, I like them, all right, but they don't, you know, beat the best of the best, all right. Uh, now, this is the ace of spades in this deck of cards. Once again, they incorporated all those swirls that you see throughout the pack of cards, uh, and this is a very nice ace of spades. I, I like it um, a lot. Dan Dave did a great job with this. It's got that swirls. It's very simple unlike the back design which we'll be getting to um, and I think it looks really clean uh, just very nice overall and uh, on the bottom it says the Dan and Dave uh, playing card company alright so after uh, let's go through the face cards as well before we get to the real back design of these uh, the face cards of this deck are really just the same as a regular bicycle deck um, the colors are a little bit darker and a little bit the, the blacks are a little more grayish all right but really nothing has changed in these uh, playing cards or in the deck um, it's just really a regular bicycle deck all right uh, now that we have gotten those out of the way let's get into the back design before we get into the spot cards all right so, if you take a peek at the back design, you'll see a lot going on. And personally, I think it might be a little too much. Um, if They should have dialed it down maybe a little bit. Um, and you'll actually see an owl here. Hopefully you can see his head uh, right here if you look closely. All right. Uh, so, once again, they incorporated an animal. First, it was a Siamese cat. Uh, and now it is an owl. Um, and to be honest, I don't know why they did that. Uh, maybe you guys will know, but... The box has no indication of animals, um, and I, to be honest, I'm not sure. Uh, but overall, there's a lot going on in this back design. It's not the worst back I've ever seen, uh, but it definitely isn't the best. I would have liked to see maybe a little bit less design, but there it is right there. 
all right uh, let's take a peek at the spot cards so this is your regular bicycle deck um, there's nothing really changed with it other than uh, some of the spots on the cards uh, but overall the cards themselves look the same the colors are just slightly variated um, and let's take a peek at the spot card. So on each spot card, you're going to get one um, one little heart, spade, club, or diamond that's going to have the kind of swirl design uh, that Dan and Dave added throughout the entire deck. Uh, so that kind of ties everything back in. Um, and that they've incorporated on every single card. So each card is different. Uh, so there's the three of spades and whatnot. Uh, I think that's just a very nice little touch. It makes the deck look very uh, professional. Uh, and I, I like it, alright? It's not too much. Uh, there's a three of diamonds there. So it's great. Now let me get to an ace here. The ace of hearts. Beautiful. Uh, the ace of hearts I personally like a ton. Uh, in your regular bicycle deck, the heart in the center is not this big. Um, and for some reason, I think this looks great. Um, and it's not as big as the ace of spades, uh, as you can obviously see. Um, but, you know, I do like how they enlarged it slightly. I, I think that was a very nice small touch that Anna Dave added that really adds to the deck of cards. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to the deck. So, like I said, it's a regular bicycle deck. These, uh, the face cards are the exact same as a bicycle deck. Uh, it's just they're a little bit darker in color um, and there's more gray, uh, kind of like the box. So, they've incorporated that. Um, so, that was nice. All right. Now, let me talk about the handling of these cards. Obviously, it has the cambric finish, which means it's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the cards spread well and whatnot. I'll do a spread here for you. Obviously, they're great. I've been handling these for a little while now, and they still continue to keep that beautiful uh, feeling that you get right at, uh, right when you open the box. Uh, so overall, I would say the handling is great. The cardstock is just a little bit thicker uh, than your normal bicycle back, all right? Um, that you normally have. Uh, and overall, I think this is a fabulous deck of cards that anybody should invest in. Um, now, when you have a deck of cards that you might buy from illusionists and whatnot, sometimes you can't really use them when performing to people. Why do I say that? Well, when you perform to people with maybe an illusionist deck, all right, like the Black Tiger, you can't really use it. Why is that? Because it looks like a gimmick deck of cards. This deck right here, you can use to spectators. They're not going to think it's a gimmick deck, uh, and you'll be able to do your tricks, all right? And, and that's something you obviously want in your deck of cards. Um, Dan and Dave are notorious for making great playing cards, and of course, they've definitely capitalized and done that again. Uh, with this pack of cards. So overall, I think it's a great deck of cards. Uh, the cambric finish is very nice. Uh, and I've seen other reviews, people like it as well. Uh, and that's about it, guys. So that is my first deck review on this channel. Let me know if you guys want a deck review of any other deck. I might have it, and I might do it. I'll be sure to give you a shout-out if you do ask it. All right. Uh, so that's about it, guys. Uh, thank you for subscribing to this channel and watching my video. Uh, and that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and thank you. I'll see you in my next deck review.